Hello and welcome to Workflow Labs. So today we are going to look at deferred processing. So we are continuing to build on the vacation request. Make sure your workflow builder is installed. Um, of course, the, uh, the all the files will be available later on, in the, actually below this video for download. So this is the workflow we have been working on. We have a uh, vacation request that's coming in. Uh, the approver, the approver then would approve or reject the uh, vacation request. So we added a few complexities. We added a loop where uh, the requester can resubmit it. And we added um, another functionality where the data can be stored in a database once it's approved. We again added a few conditions where if the submitter is the approver, then, um, then you know, do not proceed the workflow. So we added a new process, basically sub process to reset the input fields. We added timeouts where if the vacation request is waiting for the uh, approver for a long time, and uh, you know if, if that is the case, proceed. Um, if if not, you know we will try it a couple of times. If not, proceed. And finally, we added one more. We're going to add one more uh, enhancement. Here we are going to defer the process. So once the approval is uh, approved. We will have to, you know, we will wait for. We don't, you know, we it's a system doesn't. So the, you know, once the approval is sent, we don't have to wait for the, um, you know, the 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 the, the database up, update is not happening immediately. We would wait for some time. We'd, it'd be a deferred processing. So let's go ahead and start how to do it. We'll do it in two ways. So the first way we will. Well, I'll show you the first way. So let's go ahead and open the workflow. So I'm going to open the vacation proposal so one the simple way to uh, make it deferred is by using the cost so normally under 50 is is uh, you know it's a synchronous process so if you put 100 it will be a it will be a deferred process so at this point you would you know your vacation will be approved and um, you'll have to run another uh, you know workflow background engine to click start the uh, next process Let's go ahead and try it out. So I uh, make sure you have the databases. So make sure you upload the workflow to the database. Make sure you file, save as, and give the database uh, details. Once you uh, once you have saved it to the database, um, uh, go to Workflow Administrator. Click on Developer Studio. Uh, search for your workflow type. Uh, click on Go. Click on the run, enter your information, click submit, click OK. Then you go to status monitor, search for your workflow that's ha that happened today, click go. Go ahead and select the status diagram first. So you can see that uh, you know we have we this, we, we know that the status diagram is uh, update, but we didn't make any changes in the into the status diagram. So it's primarily the cost is changed. So let's go ahead and uh, open the uh, workation proposal and approve it. Um, so at this point, actually, sorry. So I put the screen in the wrong order. So uh, when you click approve, you would see that the vacation schedule, uh, vacation, the, 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 the database update is in a deferred status. Let's go ahead and run the workflow background engine. Or we can use one of these methods. Uh, at this point, the, the the deferred process is completed. Let's go ahead and try the second method. So I'm going to say I'm going to save this as uh, ten one. So I'm going to save it as ten two. So I could add the second method. So with this process, I'm going to delete these two connections. I'm going to standard. I'm going to get to deferred thread. Put it in there. Go in there. Go in here. And here. So at this point, once the it's the same as we did before. So make sure you right click on right click on this and drag. So so right click and drag. So click and okay, just gonna make it straight a little bit. Okay, so we could make it a little bit better if you want. 
Okay, so at this point, uh, go ahead and save it. We need to file save as to database. So go ahead and log into your um, your business. Go to Developer Studio, Workflow, search for your workflow. Click on Go. Click on Run. Enter your details. Click on Submit. You get OK. Click OK. Uh, go to Status Monitor. Click OK. Click actually enter your uh, workflow type and uh, the start date. Click Go. Um, actually, once you get the details, uh, make sure you select the status diagram. Click on status diagram. Uh, you can see that the workflow is being saved in there. So now, at this point, you can see you know when when you once you uh, once you click um, approve, once you open up approve, you will go to the deferred status. So it's it's it hit the deferred status. Go ahead and run the background engine. So we can see the deferred thread is completed and the uh, process is completed. So hopefully this gave you an idea of how to defer a process. Um, you know, th there are different, uh, you know, method. There are different different reasons why we use it. Um, you know, one is you know, we don't want the workflow. We, basically, it's a it's a it's a way to utilize your resources properly. So sometimes if the computation is hard, you could you know defer it to the workflow background process, the concurrent program. So that concludes this chapter. Hopefully you were able to see how to defer a process and how to manage it. Thank you.